Hello, 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 hello. Today is January 17, 2020. This is my first recording of a new problem in the new year. My wife and I were on vacation in California and in Nevada. Great vacation. When we got back, we both got sick. <laughs> I was three, maybe four days in bed. Headache, running nose, fever, feeling very weak. Flu-like symptoms, so to speak. But I have now recovered to the point that I feel comfortable doing another physics problem, which I have thought about while I was sick. It will be a problem about optics. If you have the interest to watch my lecture 18, of 803, then this problem will be a piece of cake. But that's not an easy lecture. Your high school physics may be enough to do this problem, and that will be fine with me. But there's a little bit more to it than your high school problem. Let's first discuss the problem. This is a glass prism This surface here and this surface and this surface are perpendicular to the plane of the paper. The angle here is 90 degrees, 45 degrees here and 45 degrees. I have a narrow beam of green light, which has a wavelength of about 500 nanometers. And the index of refraction of this glass for this wavelength is 1.5. This beam is here perpendicular to this surface. We call that normal incidence. The plane of incidence is always defined as the direction of the light and the normal of that light. And so the normal, the normal to the surface, sorry, the normal to the surface. And so the normal to the surface is in this direction and this is the direction of the light. So this is the plane of incidence. The light intensity on this surface is capital I. So something is going to happen here and then when the light reaches this point here something is going to happen here and when the life comes out in this direction, something is going to happen there. And you will have to deal with that something. The question is, what will be the light intensity that comes out in this direction? And as I said, it's perfectly okay if you have sufficient high school knowledge to do this problem. If you learn more physics than is covered in high school, you will learn that what happens here and there and there depends on the degree of polarization. And a distinction is made in the so-called Fresnel equations, 
between light that is linearly polarized in the plane of incidence and the light that is linearly polarized perpendicular to the plane of incidence. If it were polarized in this direction, it would be perpendicular to the plane of incidence. If it were polarized in this direction, it would be polarized in the plane of incidence. And the Fresnel equations make a difference between the two. They discuss for each individual polarization what happens. So for those who are advanced, I would like to know the same answer. What is the intensity of the light that comes out here if this is capital I? If the light were linearly polarized in the plane of incidence, and what would be the answer if the light were polarized perpendicular to the plane of incidence? But for those who have never dealt with the degrees of polarization and the direction, use your high school knowledge if it is enough, and chances are that your answers are correct. Okay, lecture 18, 803, it's all there, but it may blow your mind, <laughs> that's not my intention. All right then, I don't know when I will publish this, when I will post this, it is January 17, 2020. Uh, outside temperature is uh, about minus 8 degrees centigrade. Very, very cold. That's not why I'm wearing this. I always wear this inside. I like that. All right then. So in the new year, have a nice day, take care, and surely in 2020, we will again be friends. That's a given. That goes without saying.